Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mouse key skill video on using Pythagoras theorem, then trigonometry, to find a missing angle. Now you should already have explored Pythagoras theorem and explored trigonometry for right angle triangles to find a missing angle. So I'm going to assume you already know how to do that. And if you don't, I do have videos on those. So let's look at these two triangles we have here. We're trying to find this angle X here. We've got this triangle on the left. Now the problem is, is we don't have enough information to work out the angle X. We would need to know two of the sides of this triangle to then use trigonometry and find the angle X. We've only got one of the sides. We don't have enough information to work out that angle. However, in this right triangle here, we've got two of the sides of this right angle triangle. And we know we can use Pythagoras theorem if we have two of the sides of the right angle triangle to find out the third. So remember Pythagoras theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared where C is the hypotenuse. So if we label C as the hypotenuse, the longest side, and then the other two sides in either order, we can label as A and B. So we substitute into this formula, A squared, which is just that height, we'll leave it as A, A squared, plus the B squared, so seven squared, is equal to 12.5 squared. And I'm gonna do this quickly because we've already previously explored Pythagoras theorem. You can just do 12.5 squared minus the seven squared, and then you can square root that to get A, and we get A is equal to the square root of 429 over 2. And if you put that as a decimal, that is 10.3562. And I think that's probably enough decimal places. Don't round it too much, because we're then gonna use this value in another calculation. Right, so we've got A, now let's draw this triangle with the left out separately just to help us visualize it. What we've got, we've got this angle X, this right angle. We know this height now, it's 10.3562. And we know this bottom length, which is 7.5. Now remember how Sokotoa works. We label the sides. Well, this side is opposite the angle. So we label it with O, I'll put it in a circle. And this side is adjacent to, next to this angle. So we label it as A. We're not using this side, which is a hypotenuse, because there's nothing there. And then remember Sokotoa? So, ka, toa. What letters are we using? Are we using O and H, or A and H, or O and A? Well, we're using O and A, so it's gonna be tan. So it's tan of the angle, so tan of X is equal to the opposite, 10.3562 over the adjacent which is 7.5. And then to get rid of that tan in front of the X, we do inverse tan of both sides. So inverse tan of 10.3562 over 7.5. Let's put that into my calculator. Shift tan to get inverse tan. And then fraction button 10.3562 over 7.5. And that gives me an angle of 54 and we want it to one decimal place, so 54.1 degree. And that is the final answer.